So as someone who has just recently watched the Kung Fu Panda trilogy for the first time, you could say that the epic action sequences, great character writing, creative choreography, incredible voice acting, actual funny jokes, and actual noteworthy lessons being shared for both kids and adults alike are still relatively fresh in my mind. And while admittedly this review covering what I believe will be more than likely the start of a new trilogy for a franchise in Kung Fu Panda 4 is a little late, to be honest, it's been quite a long time since I was this pumped for an animated movie to hit the theaters. Oops, yep, forgot about that one. That's a billion dollar movie, baby. And while Kung Fu Panda 4 in its own unique and in some aspects watered down way, was still a fun, new, creative, and most importantly, successful start in continuation to this era of Poe and the Kung Fu Panda franchise. And while I've seen a lot of criticism about this movie out there because my algorithm searched my phone and found my movie ticket or something and started insta-feeding me when I got home, there are not often times where I feel like a change in direction is always the right way to go. But when it comes to this franchise, these lessons, this character, I don't know. It just feels right that the idea, the message, the symbol didn't grow with us. And that's not always a bad thing. And don't get me wrong, Kung Fu Panda 4 definitely comes with its own baskets of pros and cons, aspects that we'll dive into a little later. But say for instance, the dialogue, the lessons, the story, the villain. Oh wait, this is actually starting to become a lot. And more importantly, one of, if not the most important aspect when it came to the success and likability of the characters in the original trilogy. The OT? Huh. Look at that. But it was the jokes, and honestly the comedy as a whole took a heavy nosedive, not when it comes to its execution, but its target audience. Let me rephrase that actually, because I don't want to hint at the fact that the original Kung Fu Panda trilogy wasn't already intended for kids, but this new addition to the franchise is definitely intended for kids. And you feel that. But when it came to the rest of the movie itself, it was wholeheartedly and sincerely a Kung Fu Panda movie. With Aquafina, if you're into that. So with that, let's talk. Yeah, until typing this review, I didn't really realize how simple and predictable our story and narrative had become. But still, I enjoyed the change. Kung Fu Panda 4 picks up eight years after the end of the trilogy, with Poe finally recognizing himself as the Dragon Warrior. But as soon as it seems like Poe is fully becoming content with his position... Destiny arrives all the same. There we go, Thanos, you took the words right out of my mouth. With Poe set on his new journey to become the spiritual leader of the Valley of Peace, the path his old master Ugwe has paved for him, a successor to the Dragon Warrior must also be chosen. Meanwhile, while in the shadows and in a world that honestly has never really been explored before in the Kung Fu Panda franchise, a villain called the Chameleon is set on conquering all of the Valley's territories. Yes, I understand that there is no real reason for her to really be doing so, but with the powers to shapeshift and steal the powers of all of Poe's past foes, Will our Dragon Warrior not only be able to find the strength to be one of his toughest opponents yet, but find it within himself to ascend the title, position, and meaning that is the Dragon Warrior, and take his first steps towards his continuing destiny? As I mentioned before, when it comes to the foundations of what made the Kung Fu Panda brand and franchise such a great success in fan favorite trilogy, they are still very much present in Kung Fu Panda 4. While the foundation itself may not be as sturdy, and while the interior decorator might have moved some things around, while you're sitting down minding your own business without a care in the world, that's when you realize the comfort, the feeling, the vision never really left. The action sequences were still just as fun, creative, and ridiculous as ever. The choreography in certain scenes were off the charts, and something that I can honestly say that I appreciated a lot was the fact that Poe virtually was the strongest character in the room in pretty much every scene. The balance of Poe's original clumsiness and, for lack of better terms, naive idiocy, as well as his obvious growth and comfortability within his title as the Dragon Warrior, was probably handled in the best way possible in this movie. Poe himself, though, was still the star of the show, 
There are times when actors really do become synonymous with the characters they play. And while obviously Jack Black is one of the most talented people we have in the entirety of the industry, the life he breathes into Poe is still extremely refreshing with each and every take. But I've been holding it off for long enough. Let's go ahead and talk Aquafina's Jen, the Silver Fox who is now, after a very successful first box office weekend, is more than likely to become a mainstay in the franchise. And while it is extremely easy to pick on Aquafina and her roles or her voice, her comedy or her mannerisms, I mean, I do it all the time. And if you've seen the character of Marvel's Katie in Shang-Chi, then you've pretty much seen her character in Kung Fu Panda 4. But I don't know, something about her just being off screen maybe just made the performance that much more digestible. And with the help of the Furious Five and more screen time, I'm sure the majority of fans will just come around. And yes, the Furious Five were not in this movie. We got like a meme montage at the beginning explaining why they weren't, and honestly, that was the most patronizing part of the movie, to be honest. Overall, while I don't believe the new edition of Kung Fu Panda 4 can even hold a candle to the greatness of the original trilogy, imagine it more like this. Compare the character of Sei Jin to the greatness of Po. It's going to be hard to live up to that legacy, but that has never been the point or the lessons of the Kung Fu Panda trilogy. Change isn't always bad, and sometimes you have to find your own path on your way to your destiny. And the Kung Fu Panda franchise took a leap in a direction of creativity, all in an industry where the majority of times, studios take the opposite approach. So honestly, much like Zhen, I think the community over time will come to grow and love this new addition to the franchise. So in a ranking system, or I guess you can say a grading system that is relatively new, or not even relatively new, this is a new grading tier list being added to my channel at the end of every video, so this is the first time you're going to see it. Definitely comment down below how you feel about it, and while the names aren't officially a lot, I have decided to go with, from top to bottom, cinema, a respectable movie, A for effort, made, a Toontown movie, and last but not least, shit on a screen. You always knew I was going with that. And while you just watch me grade the rest of the releases that I've already reviewed here in 2024, we're all sentient. I feel like I don't have to explain a tier list. I did decide to go with six categories though, instead of the traditional five, because movies simply aren't traditional, unless you're watching only Disney movies, I guess. I'm sure I'll just continue to dive into it more and more in future videos until it eventually becomes the norm, but when it comes to the Graders 2024 watch list, I think I can comfortably say Kung Fu Panda 4 is an A for effort type of movie, an acceptable and inviting change into the home that you grew up in, and while the Kung Fu Panda trilogy might not have grown up with me and my generation specifically, again, as the movie itself teaches you, that's not always a bad thing. Of course, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching the video. And if you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I should say follow me on Twitter. I started a whole new account for this channel, so I'm going to start promoting that more. I'm also going to get a little bit more comfortable on that tier list. This was my first video doing it, and I've gotten like a lot of comments suggesting it. So I don't know. I just decided to put it in action. We'll see how it goes. Definitely. Uh trial and error type of thing again i want to thank you guys for watching the video make sure to like and subscribe if you did enjoy why not click on more while you're at it otherwise that's all the words i got for you today bye